For myself, uh, my work has been largely preoccupied with birth, sex, death, and the search for God, as I put it, I think, uh, 30 years ago uh, in some piece of writing or other. And I think that remains the same. Uh, not till I was with Marilyn in the life form that we share with our children, Anton and Vaughn, could I uh, work with these abstractions without a danger of losing my mind. And let me point out that my mentors in painting in this respect very largely did lose their mind. Most of them ended in, in uh, ob you know, fairly obvious suicides or accidents so close to su suicide as to really be called that, like Pollock's uh, smashing into that tree, his, his drunk driving to that excessive extent. They were up against uh, the terror of uncovering something that, however beautiful it looks, when you see it, like, say, this, which uh, um, is three IMAX frames of uh, an exposition of a kind of a vision that's uh, created by the mind uh, streaming. Uh, it's non-nameable. You know, it, it, it'll, it'll have things that might be nameable, like you might say this is a landscape. Here the landscape is in this form of upheaval, and, and, and here, are, here are the little rose that's growing upon it, being lifted up into the air, whatever. I mean, you can say things about it, but at least it's obvious that it resists that kind of usage. And, and I have examples that resist it very much better. As a matter of fact, the reason that this hunk is framed and doesn't exist within the Dante Quartet, which is what it was originally made for, and is it's an outtake because it, it's, it's too close to the nameable. It's too coherent in the normal old ways of uh, painting. Whatever there is of life left to me, I'm going to have to do it differently um, and get, get rid of a lot of this. Including, I, th I feel like the paints, I'm almost at the end of it, you know. I'm, 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 I've done all that I could do, you know. I brought it through to the farthest, to things that are inspired by the farthest outreaches of the painting I know, you know. And, and, and that, that correlates with my own close-eye vision. Again and again in my life, I, I have had, uh, e e either through having something stolen or through some breakdown of my life in one way or another, or sometimes through illness, uh, through exhaustion of means, uh, sometimes through exhaustion of money means, like a grant that ran out that would not permit me to go on doing the highly expensive and complex scenes from under childhood, which then later I recognized had come, come to an end anyhow. I've always been able to abandon things and go back to ground. And, and, and the songs were going back to ground in some sense, uh, to the most minimal of means. And always one of my great, great inspirations for this across my life is Whistler. In his uh, old age, he borrowed from all his friends cigar box lids, and he painted watercolors that are the most extraordinary uh, works of his entire life. He, he went, he, and he did this in an abandonment of himself as a great career uh, uh, oil painter, you know, portrait painter par excellence, or even enfant terrible uh, uh, um, being sued by Ruskin or whatever, all that. He just gave it all up, gave it over, and wandered on the beaches or in the streets of London with these cigar box lids in one pocket and these watercolors in the other and left uh, a, a stream that's uh, truly pure visual music for the eyes. I mean, it, they're filled with recognizable things, but the beauty of them is in no way dependent upon that. And they are so spartan and subtle in their colors that there's almost no way to achieve that quality of, uh, of uh, subtle soft coloration um, in film. You know, I, I really wouldn't, wouldn't have any idea as to what's to be expected of me in the future, or of course uh, how much of a future I have 
with uh, the bladder cancer and the chemotherapy I'm about to enter. Um, I, I never have had, I never could have imagined almost anything that I have done all along the way more than several months, you know, previous to its taking place, I might begin to have intimations. Uh, I think partly that's because I am enabled to, to recognize when something's coming to a closure. If I'd had my way, my will, for example, I'd have gone on painting the rest of my life. It's such a wonderful thing to be able to do, to be always carrying around the materials of your making at any moment, to be able to sit down with a little board and, and, and some film and some uh, paints or inks or whatever and be able to extend um, the, the work. And I would have loved for that to just be what I was doing the rest of my life. And I also believe in it as a field of human endeavor. It seems to me so tremendously important. I loved it. So I certainly didn't want it to end. I could get very upset and say, my God, uh, for this painting that I did, I'm, I'm, I'm given bladder cancer, a particular form of bladder cancer that comes from aniline dyes. So literally, the painting has poisoned me. You know, maybe when Dog Star Man was made, maybe of late, maybe both, you know. But at any rate, it's a very virulent form of cancer. It's uh, a tough cancer. I was just painting. I was still assuming that painting was what I was going to do for the rest of my life, though. I had, which was quite puzzling to me, bought a motion picture camera um, a couple of months before, and its warranty was about to run out. So I, I took that camera down, presumably just to make a test, so I could test it before its warranty ran out, because it was a used camera. And, and, and a, a whole new area of making just opened up. Now, like all whole new areas of making, it's also be a cycle of earlier intimations. Uh, what it's trying to do is to include both the inside and the outside of something, of water, of earthworms, of, of leaves, of uh, grass and uh, wood. It must be said also that at times I don't know but what all of these thoughts are, are, are absolutely mad. They haven't taken very well in the society. I mean, I'm much lauded and much praised for what I've done and, and, and a distinguished professor and, you know, Museum of Modern Art retrospectives and people right now <laughs> making videos of me and whatever blathers coming out of me. I have no certitudes. I'm often in the deepest doubt um, that maybe everything I've done and the whole independent film movement or the entire idea of film as an art is just a passing madness. If that's so, I've come to an age and a time in my life where that would certainly be bearable because I would still have left that an extraordinary number of beautiful and wonderful people have given themselves to this possibility, uh, given themselves fully in a tradition that goes back to the cave paintings, you know, of human impulse. And, uh, and, and we have had our dance, whether we were right or wrong about this or that, or whether moving visual thinking was something that was going to be important to people or not, seems to me not very important in the light of that dance.